1 Corinthians 1, the way of Jesus is absolutely opposite to the way of this world. Paul begins his letter to the Corinthians by making this point. The idea of a crucified saviour was foolish and even abhorrent to both Jews and Gentiles. A crucified Messiah was not what the Jews wanted. They wanted salvation from the Romans here and now. The Gentiles wanted an eloquent, erudite, powerful, impressive leader. Nobody could see the power and authority in a man crucified on a tree trunk, apparently a loser. But as Paul points out, the message of Christianity will not be appealing to those who are of the worldly mindset. He says, consider your calling, brothers. Not many of you had worldly wisdom. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world that he might put to shame those that are wise. And God chose the weak things of the world that he might put to shame the things that are strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world to bring to nothing things that are, that according to what is written, he that boasts, let him boast in the Lord. To be a Christian, then, means that we are proud of Christ. We boast in him. He is our hero, the man we would love to be, the one who made it when we failed. So we see in his cross the sign of ultimate bravery of victory against apparently overpowering odds. And because we are proud of him, we boast of him in this world. This is what evangelism is, boasting of Christ to the world, that a man of our nature, one of us, one of our boys, who faced all our temptations, rose above it all. And he was perfect and died for us and has been exalted quite rightly to the highest possible level. This world, will soon pass away in the sense that this present society with its values and aspirations will all be ended when Jesus returns. Then we will be kings to reign on earth forever. Power will be given to us. So now we're like revolutionaries waiting for our time to come. For now we're training, we're planning, we're living for tomorrow, not for today. We will be with Jesus as he goes out into this world to change it, to pull down the structures of this current society and establish his eternal kingdom on this earth. And this is why the, the Christian is in this world, but not of this world.